forgive me because this is going to be rambling and ad and agitated, but I'm just so bothered right now, and I, I there's like this pressure inside my heart, and I just I just have to talk right now, and I, I want to share what I'm thinking with you, and I know that it's going to mirror what you're thinking too, uh, about about. NDRP, NDAA, what, just what's happening right now? I mean, I'm on, I'm on Twitter. It's, it's just past midnight, right? And, and I see that this NDRP executive order is filed. And of course, how do we know that it's filed? Well, someone sifted through it at the end of the Friday night news dump, right? Because the the Obama administration wants to avoid the news cycles. Well, I mean, okay, that's that's as cynical as any administration ever wanting to avoid the news cycles for when they do something terrible, but. I mean, this is different. I mean, at this moment in time, all right, this is March 18th, early, early morning, all right, you haven't been given an interpretation of what the NDRP means by professional media outlets, Fox News, you know, cable news, the big networks. I mean, it's up to you. Go read the thing and look at what it says, all right? My reading is, and look, I'm not an unintelligent person. I mean, I, I can take a plain reading and do something with it. Um, my reading is that there's potentially a draft now. My reading is that they can take your property. They can take your labor. They, I mean, your labor is subject to the government now. I, mean, I, I know that we just did the whole NDAA controversy like two weeks ago, right? I mean, no one, half, half the people that were even uh, you know, talking about that have probably forgotten about it now. But uh, they can indefinitely detain you now should they decide that, well, you're not really a criminal, you're a terrorist. Or you're, or you're endangering national security in some way. I mean, so there's no there's no due process in America anymore. I'm pretty sure that there's no right to private property or privacy. Let's talk about privacy, right? I mean, uh, I think it was Petraeus that was that was on the Hill, well, just this week talking about how well we don't really even need to bug your home anymore. I mean, you can put they've got these super chips and everything where they're, they're bugging you now like we're bugging ourselves with our appliances and our TVs and look I'm not even a conspiracy theorist I'm not a doomsday person I'm just so this is all happening so fast I mean this is it's it's not this isn't America anymore I mean think about your mom and your dad or the, any of the hard-working people out there who can't even stay informed um, and, and up to date on all these fires that are being set by the most cynical administration. It, it, there must be in history, and this isn't a conservative or liberal position. This is just look at the desperate cynicism of these people. I mean, look at what they're, the naked power grabs. This is not America. Yesterday, this was a possibly America. Today, this very well may not be America. And look, I. Okay, maybe that's bombastic. You can turn on the news and someone will say, oh, Bill O'Reilly will say, well, don't worry. No, I, we read this and this only means, NDRP only means, well, the president has emergency powers. Even that doesn't matter because when the lie is reflected to you by the culture, as we just found out the other day, the, the government has secret interpretations of national security laws. I mean, there's the popular interpretation and then there's the secret interpretation that DOJ has. I mean, even when you've got it on the books, as meaning what they say it means. It doesn't mean that. This is huge people. Uh, and back to my point about, I mean, working people can't stay up on this. I do everything I can. I virtually don't do anything else but keep up on, um, on Twitter and, and the social networks and Google News just seeing how people are interpreting these stories and, and, and just watching the fires as they're set out there. I mean, this week was supposed to be about Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan whistleblowers, right? I mean, just when you thought you should learn about how these huge multinationals are ruining the world and laughing about it by wrecking and manipulating financial markets, now the administration is setting another fire. And of course, they hope you you won't see it. And I, did I did I not just see? And look, I'm sorry. I told you this wasn't going to be systematic, but didn't I just see a Panetta? Before the hill was that was that last week saying that uh, OER justification for war is the UN okay what so now there's no Congress is a formality the executive is dictator for life and uh, well this isn't America anymore okay okay well I'm glad to know that oh and by the way uh, did you hear about Stellar Wind the NSA Wired magazine had a had a little story about the NSA's new data center project which. Oh, you know, no big deal. They're monitoring every electronic transaction and communication 
that there is that happens. I mean, they have everything now, like everything. That's not even an exaggeration. They're monitoring everything. A, a, a yottabyte of data. I mean, your bank statements, your, your, your phone records. I mean, like, there isn't privacy. There isn't property. There isn't due process. There isn't even the notion of of justice in, in any sense. This isn't America. Th this isn't anything. This is, you're a wage slave, basically. And the elites are uh, with their banker friends and infinite bailouts in Europe, here and abroad. And somehow they've all wrangled us into financial servitude? Or what was the word? Marxist uh, feudalism? Yeah, this is your future. There's going to be war, and you're going to go. Um, that's it. I just had to get that out, man. Share this fucking thing.